Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitale. On this episode of Laurie Kitchen, I want to share with you a really simple recipe, but one that's very near and dear to my heart. This is my Nonna's Orzotto with Zucchini. Orzotto is really kind of like an orzo version of a risotto, even though it's not rice, but it's pasta that's shaped like rice. And it's made really simple with just broth, Parmesan cheese, and a little butter. But she caramelizes zucchini, and you have that running through the entire thing, and it is just mouth-wateringly delicious. And when it comes to summertime, when zucchini is sweet and delicious, there's just no better time to make this. It is really phenomenal as a side dish or as dinner in its entirety like I'm going to do tonight. It's a wonderful one pot wonder that gets from counter to mouth in about 15 minutes or so. Who doesn't love that? So to get started you'll need zucchini. I've got some prepped but I'll talk to you about it in just a second. This is orzo. This is pasta. It's not rice but it's pasta that's shaped like rice. Good quality Parmesan cheese, good quality Parmesan cheese is as important as air to me. A little bit of butter and some chicken stock. I'm just using water with a bouillon cube, a little salt and pepper, and you're going to need a little bit of olive oil. That's it. Very simple. I've got my little pot here with some olive oil in the bottom. I'm going to let that get nice and hot. I don't want it to kind of uh, be so hot that it burns everything, but I want it to be nice and hot so that the Zucchini starts caramelizing right away. Now you can, this is what the shape of the zucchini. If yours is like the real big fat one, you might want to cut it in half and then slice in half moon. But this is small enough that I'm going to do it just like my Nona does and just slice this in little rings. You don't want this to be too thick because the beauty about this recipe is that the zucchini is almost going to disintegrate throughout the entire dish. You don't want it to be hard or chunky or have a bite to it. It's meant to be very soft. So that's why she, it's almost like little ribbons running through the entire thing. So that's why she does it this way. So I do. I'm going to continue slicing these and then we'll add them to the hot pot. I'm going to add my zucchini right in. Now it looks like it's going to overcrowd the pan or whatever, but trust me, it's going to work just fine. Now what I want you to do is just stand here and give this a stir every once in a while and cook the zucchini until they develop some really good color and they get really nice and soft. That colorful, slightly softened, equals tons of flavor. So keep that in mind. But do give everything a stir to make sure as much of the zucchini is caramelized as possible. So. I'm going to do that and then we'll proceed. This looks fantastic. You can see a lot of the zucchini has some color. It's wilted. It's just how I want it. I'm going to add my orzo. Now I know what you're thinking. You should be adding that so that it boils and then the... No. Just you wait. Give this a really good stir and cook it in that oil for about a minute or so. What you're doing is you're toasting the orzo and that by toasting the orzo, you're adding another layer of free flavor because it gets all nutty and delicious and once you put the parm in there, it is just good, okay? It's good. So just give it a couple of minutes, making sure to stir the whole time because you don't want to burn anything. I'm just going to knock this back down to medium because I did have it on about medium high. Okay, I'm going to add my stock. Now I like to do this exactly like she does, so I go ahead and use a bouillon cube. An Italian bouillon cube that I get from an Italian store, but you don't have to go through that trouble. Get some chicken stock out of the fridge, chicken stock concentrate, whatever you have. Or if you have a bouillon cube, it might be easier for you to store, then by all means use that. What you need to do now is let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you need to let it cook for about, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes or until the orzo is cooked through and it has absorbed all of that broth. So let that happen. And uh, in the meantime, get yourself a nice glass of bubbly, maybe some iced tea, lemonade, whatever you fancy. And I'm just going to knock myself back and wait for this. And I'm going to have one of the most amazing dinners that's going to transport me back to my childhood. This looks phenomenal. It's exactly how I want it. I have added just a small pinch of salt to this and I would just suggest that you would try it first before adding your salt because you just never know how salty your chicken stock is or your bouillon cube or whatever you're using and you just don't want to over salt it. I am going to add some black pepper and I like to finish this much like I would a regular risotto. A little bit of butter, just one tablespoon and some good quality parm. I mean, this is just home food at its very, very best. It gives you, it's called a orzotto because it's, 
it's kind of like a take on risotto because it's got that velvety, smooth, creamy texture, but without having it, obviously it's not rice, but it's just phenomenal. I'm gonna turn this off. You can see it's absorbed all of that stock beautifully and it's creamy and it's decadent and that zucchini running through it is just gonna give it so much wonderful flavor and I am gonna serve myself up some because, because I can. Look at the creaminess factor. Babies will love this too. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, this was our childhood food. It's what we ate as babies. It's what we ate as, what, are you, what, what do you call it, tweens, and as teens, and as adults. We just never stopped loving it. It's really good. Look at the creaminess of it. There's just no, it's not watery, see that? It's just creamy and wonderful, and I'm gonna go ahead and have a bite because I'm just, my mouth is watering. now. There's just Joe and I for dinner tonight, but I make the whole pot and then store the rest in the fridge and then tomorrow I'll just reheat it with just a little bit more stock or water to um, make it you know, creamy again and a little bit more parm. Why not? It's like the kind of food you hardly even have to chew. It's homey, it's creamy, it's got that beautiful Parmesan cheese running through it. The zucchini is tender and wonderful. It's just home food at its very best with a handful of ingredients, no time whatsoever, but maximum, you get just maximum pleasure out of this, I promise. Go to lauraintheKitchen.com. I will have the written recipe for you. I would love to hear from you what some of your favorite childhood recipes are that may seem simple and easy, but they're just, they scream home to you. Leave your suggestions down below for what you want to see, what your favorite childhood recipes are. I hope you enjoyed this one with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.